The IL-96400M is a long-range, wide-body passenger airliner. It's a successor to the earlier IL-96 models and aims to compete with Western giants like the Boeing 7779 and Airbus A350-1000. The entirely Russian wide-body long-haul aircraft IL-96400M prototype, manufactured at the Vaso branch of PJSC Ilyushin, took to the skies for the first time on November 1, 2023. During the flight, the aircraft's stability, controllability, system functionality, power plant, and radio navigation systems were tested. The test program proceeded as planned, confirming the stable operation of Russian systems and equipment, most of which were produced by enterprises of the Rostec State Corporation. The 26-minute flight was conducted at altitudes up to 2,000 meters, with speeds up to 390 km per hour. The aircraft is a modernized version of the IL-96-300, featuring a fuselage extended by 9.35 meters, more powerful PS-90A1 engines, and a seating capacity of up to 370 passengers. Here's an interesting fact. The flight certificate for the first flight of the IL-96-400M was signed on the hood of a black Volga car by the managing director of PJSC Ilyushin, Daniil Brennerman, and the head of the flight test center of PJSC Ilyushin, Konstantin Letov. This tradition was established over 50 years ago by Janrek Novogilov, who was then the chief designer of the Ilyushin Design Bureau when he signed the flight certificate for the IL-76 transport aircraft on the hood of a service vehicle. That flight was successful, and this type of signing has since become a cherished tradition at Ilyushin. Now, coming back to the topic. The IL-96400M boasts a larger fuselage compared to its predecessors, accommodating up to 390 passengers in a standard configuration. A key focus is on using Russian-made components and systems to reduce reliance on foreign suppliers. The Russian government has invested significantly in the IL-96400M project, recognizing its strategic importance for the country's aviation industry. IL-96400M's size and range make it suitable for government and military applications, such as airborne command posts or VIP transport. The IL-96400M was initially planned to be equipped with Pratt & Whitney PW2037 engines, similar to its predecessor, the IL-96M. However, due to the imposition of Western sanctions, Russia is likely to opt for domestically produced engines, potentially the Aviat Vigatel PS90A1, which powers the earlier IL-96400 model. Specific thrust figures for the final engine configuration remain undisclosed, but are anticipated to match the performance of Western counterparts. With an estimated range of approximately 10,000 kilometers, the IL-96400M is designed to accommodate up to 436 passengers in a high-density configuration. The IL-96400M Salon can have one, two, and three class layouts, equipped with a modern infotainment system providing access to the internet, television and satellite communications, a modern buffet, and kitchen equipment. The aircraft is expected to offer a cabin width comparable to Western wide-body models, prioritizing passenger comfort with modern amenities and in-flight entertainment systems. While the overall concept of wide-body comfort aligns with Western standards, the specific execution and features may diverge due to differing design philosophies and component availability. The IL-96400M exhibits similar dimensions to its Western counterparts, the Boeing 777 and Airbus A350. Its range is comparable to the Boeing 777, but slightly shorter than the Airbus A350. In terms of payload capacity, it generally falls short of both the Boeing 777 and Airbus A350. Notably, the ILL-96400M is anticipated to lag behind in avionics, engine efficiency, and overall technological sophistication due to its reliance on domestically sourced components and potential developmental challenges. Now, let us put some numbers in it for comparison. As you can see in the table, the Airbus A350-1000 boasts the longest range of 5,700 kilometers, while the Boeing 7779 offers the highest payload capacity of 423 passengers. The IL-96400M falls behind in both range and payload capacity, but may prove to be a more affordable option due to its reliance on Russian-made components. 
However, it has four engines compared to the two engines of its competitors. It's important to note that the specifications for the IL-96400M are hypothetical, as the aircraft is still under development. Now, do you think IL-96400M is less competitive due to its four engines? Let us know in the comments. Don't miss out on the latest aerospace insights. Hit that like and subscribe button for more amazing content.